Hello my dear students welcome back to my channel that is your physics wali madam so if you have not watched my previous videos please do watch and let us start today's video that is motion under gravity it is the it comes in the chapter motion in straight line so let us begin so you all know what is gravity so uh, earth has a force which is known as gravity that is the force of attraction okay so let us see what happens to this when there is force of attraction between the earth and a body any body it may be small big okay so when a body is dropped from a height it falls vertically downwards with an acceleration this acceleration is uniform at any place and is the same for all the bodies so you all know that newton was the person who discovered gravity okay so when an apple fell on his head he gave the word gravity it is a force of attraction that is everywhere on the earth okay whatever we throw a, a thing from uh, the ground it will come down at a certain height okay so it is represented by the letter g and it is directed towards it is represented by the letter g and it is directed to uh, directed downwards towards the center of the earth okay the value of g varies from place to place so as you know earth acts as a bar magnet so the g value also varies from place to place we have north pole and we have south pole okay so what will be the g at the poles let us see okay so it is the greatest at the poles so as you know magnetic field is greatest greatest at the poles of a bar magnet here also the earth's force of attraction will be maximum towards the poles okay so that is it is 9.83 meter per second square okay then let us see how it varies towards the center so it is least at the equator so equator is the line which divides the earth into two imaginary line so it is at the center of the earth and it will be minimum there that is 9.78 meter per second square okay so taking approximate value we will have 9.8 meter per second square that is g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square always we are going to take here but in so, uh, some numericals we will round off the value and take it as 10 meter per second square okay it can be taken followed so for a freely falling body always a g is taken positive that is plus 9.8 meter per second square and when it is thrown vertically upwards my g is minus minus g that is ni minus 9.8 meter per second square but uh, in ncert textbook it is given uh, opposite so when the body is falling towards the gravity it is taken as negative and when it is uh, Uh, vertical taken or thrown vertically upwards it is taken as positive anyhow you can take we'll get the same answer okay or you follow what your teachers will be telling you so let us go to the next topic that is distance travel during the nth second of motion now nth second so if a body is moving at one second this much that is s1 and from here the second uh, second it will be covering s2 so for nth second how much will be the distance covered yes and that we are going to study in this topic okay so let us consider 
a body starting with starting with the initial velocity u and moving along a straight line with uniform acceleration a let us take two intervals let s1 and s2 be the distance traveled by the body in the n second and n minus 1 second so s1 will take it as the body moving in n second and s2 be the body moving in n minus 1 second okay now let sn be the distance traveled by with nth second okay next so we'll solve this so let us take sn as sn s1 minus s2 and sn is equal to we will take the kinematic equation un in place of t we will take it as n plus half an square minus so s2 we have taken for sn by n minus 1 u into n minus 1 plus half into n minus 1 whole square okay so we'll have un plus half an square minus un plus u minus half an square plus an minus half a so therefore after solving we'll get sn is equal to u plus an Minus one by two a. So we can write this as S n is equal to u plus a by two into two n minus one. So this is the. distance travel during the nth second so i hope you have understood this if you have not understood just again pause it see the derivation do by yourself then come to the then you can unpause the video then let us go to the relative velocity relative velocity what is a relative velocity it is defined as the velocity of one object with respect to the other object that is it is a difference between two objects velocity of the two objects va minus vb so let us i will explain you with an example consider two trains moving on two straight and parallel tracks with the same speed and in the same direction all the both the trains are in motion with respect to the ground for an observer in one train the other train does not appear to be moving at all in this case the relative velocity of one train with respect to the observer in the other train is zero so if it is moving in the same same speed and in the same direction so if it is va is equal to vb then vr is equal to zero okay therefore it is equation comes this like this for this case next again another situation if two trains are moving in the same direction with unequal velocities then there is a relative there is a change in the relative velocity that is vr is equal to va minus vb okay if it is moving with a unequal velocity and the with respect to the other observer uh, uh, other in the train and the observer in the train a uh, smaller than its velocity with respect to the ground he will feel that the other train is moving with a smaller velocity with respect to the ground then if two bodies a and b are moving in the opposite direction then it will be vr is equal to va 
minus of minus vb because vb is moving in the opposite direction hence it will be vr is equal to va plus vb that's why we feel that the opposite uh, really opposite uh, train is moving faster than us hence it the relative velocity adds up therefore va plus vb so this is uh, for today and we will, we have come to the finishing line of the second chapter that is motion in straight line so in the next class i will be solving some numericals so please subscribe to my channel like share and comment thank you one and all bye bye